Hello YouTube, this is Are You a Train Man 2? And uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I modify uh, my Praiser figures when I need to. Um, I have a whole uh, little box here of figures and I have sprues and stuff. Uh, oftentimes when you uh, will buy a kit of unpainted figures, you'll get duplicates. And uh, this might not seem like a big deal if you have a large layout, but if you have a small layout and, uh, you know, everybody can see from one end to the other end of your layout, uh, it'd look kind of goofy if you have two guys that look almost exactly the same. Uh, I say almost because you can paint them differently, but uh, they'll still be basically doing the same thing. Uh, these two guys just happen to be motioning like uh, one hand is saying come here, one hand is saying hold uh, because uh, one hand is like this and one hand is like that. Uh, they both look the same. They have beret hats. Uh, I don't know if you can see that real well. Well, my layout is pretty small, and uh, yeah, I don't really want two guys that look exactly the same. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is leave one uh, guy stock or original. I'm going to put him aside. I'm not going to use him. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, this guy, um, I like the way he uh, looks, but... Uh, I want him to be standing slightly different. Uh, I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and uh, modify him uh, to make him completely different. I'll make sure I have a nice clean blade. I use uh, number 11. A good, uh, smooth, flat cutting surface. And uh, the first thing I want to do is start at the inside of his uh, shoulder or armpit. I don't know if you can see that real well. But, uh, yeah, I want to start at the inside of his armpit. And I also want to grasp onto the arm so it doesn't go flying away. Now, I know a lot of you are like, No! You're cutting up a Prazer figure! Um, but it's real easy to to take these arms and glue them just about anywhere you want. Okay, I'll do the same thing with this other side. Now he has uh, two detached arms. Now he's an armless guy, but uh, that's okay because we're going to reposition him in uh, slightly different um, orientations on his body. Now I'm going to take the, the arm on, let's say, we'll just start with the right arm, and I'll look at it and test it up and, hmm, no, that doesn't look right, or move it around to where I, I get the, the arm where I want it. We'll see what looks right, what doesn't look right. Okay, I think I found a position that I like with his right arm. If I put too much glue on there, I can just barely touch it to a piece of cotton clothing and it sucks the glue right into the fiber. And then I'm able to re-glue at a different position. Look at it real close. blow on it a little bit if you have to. I'm 
Okay, so now his arm is slightly down, because you can tell the difference between these two guys. And now you can tell that difference. Okay, now the other arm is going to be different. The other arm is going to be a lot further down. The other arm, I think, is going to be down at his side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the inside of the armpit out. This kind of feels a little weird cutting up people and putting them back together. <laughs> but, you know, if it has to be done to make two different looking figures, then it will. Okay, so I shaved a little bit off. Now I'm going to stick his arm on there, reposition it to see where I like it. Okay. Now, as you can see, his hand is going like this. I'm going to twist his wrist to be to the inside. So, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to take my tweezers and just twist the arm until I get it to the position that I want it. stick it to his body. These uh, Prazer figures are pretty intricate and they have a lot of detail so uh, you really have to be careful about cutting details off and painting certain details because it might uh, it might make those details disappear entirely. Okay, so now we have our, our two figures now. As you can tell, they totally look different. Well, arms-wise, anyway. Okay, now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and shave some of the beret hat off of this guy to make it look like he's just got hair and no hat so that way they don't look like twins Now for a lot of you model rollers who have big layouts, it's not really a big deal to have two figures that are identical as long as they're on opposite sides of the layout. And then people won't notice and say, oh, I notice you have two exact same figures. Usually people don't say that or mention that kind of stuff. But still, you're going to think about it and you're going to think that you have two figures. It's, it's the same with uh, um, artists who, who see a flaw in their work and uh, they say, well, I, I know it's there. A lot of other people don't see it, but I know it's there and it bugs the heck out of me. Well, that's what happens with these Prazer figures. I know that they're there. If there's any duplicates, you know, and that's going to edit, that would bug me knowing that there's exact identical twins on my layout. 
it's just kind of funny. Uh, but also this this doing this right here also gets people to say, hey, that's a neat looking figure. Where'd you get that? Oh, that's a Prazer figure. Well, I've looked in all of my magazines. I can't find that one. Well, they're not going to find that guy because you made him. Okay, so all I did was just shave his hat off. Well, this magnifying glass doesn't even really work, does it? Okay, well, I guess that's good enough, unless you can see with a zoom. You see his head looks kind of funny. So, I can fix that. Now, this is really cool, because I didn't really know this before, but I can actually use my... Uh, camcorder where's his head to look up close at my figures kinda looks like Frankenstein yet you can see that arm is slightly lower on this side a little bit of sanding and wall and joint compound on that shoulder and he'll look just fine I'll continue to work on the face and the hair mainly because I just don't like the way that it looks. If I take the exacto knife blade and run it backwards, it works pretty good. That way I know I don't take off too much. <sighs> Let's see how it looks now. No focus? Alright. He looks pretty good. When I paint his hair, you'll never even notice. Oh, wrong direction. Okay, so I'm going to add some wall and joint compound to him and paint him and you'll see what he looks like. Alright you guys, it's getting kind of old now, it's is like the sixth time I've tried to film. Uh, here is the uh, finished character, I'm going to make this video nice and short. Finished characters here, stock characters here, uh, they both came unpainted as you remember and uh, I folded this guy's arms around, cut them off, moved them around, painted them both different colors, sliced his hat off, it's got kind of a Mo from the Three Stooges style haircut, but yeah, whatever. Uh, it look he looks fine in person. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I have two different figures here now, and uh, that's the end of the appraiser uh, modification video. Hope you guys like it, and uh, let me know what you think, please. Uh, see you guys. Have a good day.